record. So you'll see two types of problems and only two types. I made sure that with this worksheet um, that, that you only stay in this one little pocketed area. So the first kind of problem that you're going to see from yesterday, you'll remember these, I think. Is this. So I guess if anyone's, I don't know that anyone actually watches these videos, but if you are, it's the 14th of uh, September. So, and this goes, these notes will go very specifically for assignment number 12. So if that's what you're working on, there you go. Uh, so this type of problem you were introduced to yesterday, it was specifically number eight on last night's homework. And what do you notice right away about the two binomials? They're the same, right? I mean, they're not the same, but I know what you mean, they're the same. And so they're, they're I think in math, we call these conjugates. I'm not exactly sure that that term applies here, but um, the, the idea is that the, the contents of the binomials are identical. We have three X and eight and we have three X and eight. The difference obviously is that one has a plus and one has a minus. And so you'll come to appreciate these problems and I need you to be really good at them because starting soon, we're gonna be doing these problems backwards. It's called factoring. And so what we wanna do is understand that every time I see a problem like this, I can actually save a bunch of time and I'll show you what I mean. So if we go through the whole foiling process, if I go through the whole step of multiply, 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 multiply. What is 3x times 3x? Nine. It's 9x to the second. Good. And I know I'm going to go a little bit out of order here, but what is um, 8 times negative 8? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, sorry. It's negative 64. Can we agree with that? That was not supposed to be a difficult part of the lesson. I'm sorry that I stumped you with our time statements. So 8 times negative 8 has always been and always will be negative 64. Now, I want you to notice I've left some space in the middle because um, so I've left some room in the middle because you'll notice that the process is far from complete, right? This is what we practiced yesterday and the day before is how do I multiply these things together? And so I've forgotten a couple, but on purpose. So what is 8 times 3x? I'm going to put a positive or a plus 24x. Very good. And what is 3x? Just follow my yellow connectors here. What's 3x times negative 8? Negative 24x. And you, you just can't help but understand then that, hey, the yellow things are dead opposites of each other. And the nature of these problems is such that this will literally 100% of the time happen. I'm not saying like, well, unless this or unless this. Like, like DC made the observation early on that this is basically the same, I think is what he said, is this, except one has a plus and one has a minus. This yellow business that's happening on the board will always happen. So for today, when you see this kind of problem coming, you don't have to go through the entire four-step process. You can just only do the red ones and move on your way. This, by the way, has a name, and I'm not going to hold you to account for this yet, but that's that's called a difference of two squares. And we'll become much more familiar with that here in coming weeks. But that all your answers that look, if your question looks a certain way, your answers will always look a certain way. So let's see if we can save some time and do another one, only do it quicker. So let's say I had like 4x plus 5. And then, of course, his conjugate would be what? Mm -hmm. And these are these become my favorites because then I know like wow, I can do these like super quick. I don't even have to show work. I wouldn't want to show work. So what is 4x times 4x? 16x to the second. And remember, I can skip all that middle stuff because I, I know it's going to kill itself off. What's 5 times negative 5? And just like that, done. So today's worksheet consists of a bunch of those. Not just those, but one other thing. Does that make sense? Oh, no, not a lot. You'll see. I don't want to hear any complaining about it. So, so far, so good. Okay. The other thing, just a quick refresher, is you're going to see some of these. And I'm not naive enough to think that that little shortcut way that I taught you is something that everyone's going to use. You might remember those words, square, square, multiply, double. That's the way I like to do these problems. But I mean, walking around the room yesterday, I know visiting with several people, I was told, listen, I just like to write it out and do it that way. And that's fine. So remember that your options are you can do it my way, shorter. What's 5M when you square it? What do you get? You get 25M squared. And then check this out. What's negative 10 when you square it? 
it is exactly positive 100. So oh, yeah. always going to be a positive because I'm squaring it. And now the trick for the middle is simply this. I mean, I've done nothing yet that is difficult. I squared the red thing and I squared the blue thing. Easy peasy. Now take the red thing and the blue thing, multiply them. What do you get? Double what you just said. And that is how quickly you can do these if you want. You don't have to write it out. But again, for you guys who like writing it out, if the square square multiply double doesn't make sense, say again. Take what's that? Did you have a question, Cole? Um, because I took the red thing times the blue thing. And if you multiply those together, do you agree that we get negative 50m? And then you just double that. Not square it, just double it. What's double negative 50? Negative 100. So that's where the words square, square, multiply, double. Square, square, multiply, double, over and over again. But again, I don't want you to feel like there's something wrong with you if you just do it the other way, and that is just write it out, man. So you could just go 5m minus 10 times 5m minus 10 and get down with your bad self and go through the whole foil, the first, outer, inner, last. You're going to get to the same place as us. Let's practice again going quicker. 3y plus two squared, okay? What is red guy squared? Nine y. Nine y squared, good, it's okay. What is two squared? Four. Notice when I write this, I'm leaving that space. It's not because I don't know how to work a pen, it's because I know there's gonna be something in there. These, these problems will always have a middle term. What is red times blue? Six y, double that. Stick it in the middle, pat yourself on the back, presto, done so. Got it? So that's the process that I would encourage you to use, but don't feel like I'm going to give you grief if you don't. You'll start doing it quicker when you're darn good ready. So today's worksheet has 20 questions. There's like a mix, probably 10 of each. It's really easy. It's just like yesterday. It's in a PDF form. It's on Canvas. Same expectation as just get used to it now. It'll be there. You'll use your own paper. Um, yeah, and I'd like whoever comes up first, make sure your name and period two are on those assignment 11s. Bring them on up. On this one? Nice yeah. job.